I mean, a massage gun might not be the worst idea. Here, here's the thing. Pasta checking my emails you remotely. You already have 17 of them. Why do you need another one? She's doing the emails to know what I do so on this unboxing channel. Balls and your wiener all at the same time with three massage guns? Yes. So I'm going to let this record. She's not going to no. know. She hates surprises, but this would be a great surprise for her. She's like, you need more unboxings for the unboxing channel. Hey, little friend. This is Karen from Yuan Wu Tech Company. It's so nice to see your great video on YouTube. I'm reaching and ask if we will have a chance to cooperate with you. <laughs> We're surely inviting you to review our Muzilli G4 wireless earbuds. Here you can see. <laughs> so many fucking earbuds. What about some good headphones? But these ones have like the hook around the ears. They don't need people promoting good headphones, just shitty earbuds. Three boxes. So, can I ignore her? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll bring this over here. Okay, we I didn't do my normal cleanup because I wanted to make sure I got that conversation started at the beginning. This is... Oh. Hi, Stephen. I'm glad to receive your reply. I have sent you OH7 and ITB05 yes. by DHL on May 14th, but they were delayed due to COVID. I just checked the tracking. They're still in the state of shipment and being held. I have them, so you can tell them they arrived. Oh, okay. What the fuck is this? It's got my name on it. Like written, like handwritten. God, is this how COVID starts? Is it a prank? Is this a fart bag? Why does this feel like one of those bags that's gonna explode and fart on me? No, I guess not, it's got an opening. Oh, masks. Oh, Jesus Christ. Etsy. That was the weirdest, weirdest fucking pack. And it was a two-pack for these. So I've been buying masks. Of course, obviously, everyone needs masks. And the paper ones aren't cutting it. But uh, good masks are real hard to come by. So I bought like $40 worth of masks on Etsy. And this is the shittiest thing I've ever fucking seen. That, that is just... I mean, I guess it's going to fit me properly. And it's Guy Fox, which can go with every occasion that's happening. And apparently I get two of them for like the low, low price pasta Etsy. What a good, I can't wait till I can read this when it's in English. Massage gun. Uh, so this is like a real, just, just a piece of fabric. They, they, I can't believe they charged that much for just this. I mean, really the masks are not to protect you, like the viewer. They're there to keep you from spitting your spit onto groceries and things like that. So, you know, you wear it to be a courtesy to other people. Oh, that's a figure. <gasps> Ray. Black Ray is here. Is that it? Wow, she got, looks like she did get banged up. Oh, please. What is this wrapping? What is this? I don't know why I needed to buy a black ray. I have so many rays. Actually, how many rays do I have? I got a Masato there. Do I have more than one ray? I might only have one ray, Ayanami. I don't know where I got this either, Pasta. You're going to probably ask me if it was Amazon. It might be Amazon. Maybe it's eBay. Could be any number of places. Sega, which means it's a cheap one. I like cheap anime figures. So just the expensive ones, you know, they're great for like a little bit. And you realize you spent way too much fucking money on. What do you mean, is that it? We have 169 more to go. Let's do it! 169 more emails to go. You are... That's why I got you. But you sexy aff, girl. It's the eyes. It's the eyes. So let's see. She's got two big feet. I don't like them when they have the pegs on the feet instead of the pegs on the platform because then you can't just use them standing because then it looks like she's wearing stupid shoes. So yeah, that's a... That's a oh, yeah. Not bad. I mean, it's a Sega... Sega, here's the thing, Sega mass produces a bunch of these, 
So they're cheap, but they're always of decent enough quality. Blow the shit off her face that you're like, oh, huh. That is completely acceptable from a distance. So now I have a Guy Fawkes mask. I've got a dark ray. I'll keep the box and put it under my fucking bed. Woo! Um, this. This is another one of those things that I should really... These are more earplugs. These are the Pew Pew earplug brands that uh, Pasta is going to not link in the description ever. Not ever. Not ever, but yeah. These are the exact opposite of noise canceling. How did that address even work? I've got more uh, ear earplugs over there. Gunnar, Gunnar. That's a that's a Swedish word for um, fish. And you know, because fish can't hear underwater, so that's what this giant box is. Oh God. Oh God. That's so heavy. I didn't think it'd be so heavy, but it is. Oh. Holy fuck. All I'm saying is holy fuck. Anyway. Did they send me something or do they want to send me something? Because I don't recall much in the way of lime ears. Oh, there's a, a bunch of these earplugs, which I'm not going to take out of the box because we've got a bunch of these. bunch of these earplugs. Um. They said, is there any chance to cooperate right now? Ah. We could send you a universal demo of a model of your choice, but I'd highly recommend the Aether R's. I've got my personal pair and I absolutely love them. Uh, let's look at what they cost and if anyone else knows what they're doing. This is how emails go. It's just constant and, and so endless. You to Google the Aether R's? I remember having Lime Ears open on my computer for a while and then I didn't do anything about it. I mean, I've never heard of Lime Ears, so, ah. Anyway, this is unboxings and emails that should generate more unboxings. Stick around, check us out, check out Princess Pasta, she's the best, and I don't pay her well enough, so check out her Patreon in the description. Baby, what are you wearing again? I'm not having a conversation that we already had because you want to record it. She's wearing a double XL Duck Dynasty shirt that she stole from someone. It's alright, I already told them. Told who? Real quick. <clears throat> because I gotta link everything that unboxes. So this just arrived, which makes it super dirty. Hyper dirty. Hyper dirty super just arrived. Uh, boom. So my NAS here. Potato still exists, by the way. Tower potato. Um... Was not supposed to be like super crazy specs, but I want to run a Minecraft server and Plex takes up a lot. So in, instead of a single eight gig dim, it'll now have a single eight gig and a 16 gig because baller. So I don't know, I've, I've never run mismatched dims, but I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine because it's not really like for speed. It's just for program usability. I can move this outside. So now the NAS will have that. So if you're following the NAS build or you have been following the NAS build. Oh, that's pretty good. That's uh, that's the next and hopefully final upgrade. Maybe two more hard drives. We'll see how the life turns out.